Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the title and also how to hide the title on the single post page and single page uh, using the custom meta boxes. Now in this video, we're going to display the uh, metadata of the post, like who created this post, uh, who was the author and what, ta what time it was posted on or what date, etc. So for that, we are inside of an entry meta.php file, which is being used in the WordPress D loop. And this is where we're going to create a div element. We'll give it a class of entry meta, and then we'll also give it a margin bottom of 30 pixel using the what we're using the bootstrap class. And then uh, we're going to create different functions for the date when it was posted on. So we're going to go on inside of our template tags. And then over there, we will go ahead and create a function. So I'm going to add a function over here. Function and we'll name it as Aquila. Oops. Aquila posted on like what date what was it posted on and then first of all I'll create a variable called time string and inside of this I'm going to use the time HTML tag which is more semantic for screen readers as well as for accessibility and then we'll give it a class of entry date oops and published and updated and then we also have the date time so date time and this is going to be a percentage one dollar s because oops one dollar s because we're going to use this into uh, Sprint F, that's why I'm using this. And then percentage two dollar S. Okay, so this way we'll put the time, etc. Okay. Now we'll say if get the time. So we in WordPress we have the function called get the time and it takes a parameter. So if we check, it takes a parameter. Format. What is the format? So it says format to use retrieving the post was written either G, U, or PHP date formats to default. Okay, so you have this format. So it says that formatted date string or Unix timestamp if format is U or G. Okay, so we'll put the format as U, and you can check what that is the format U is by searching, Googling it. Won't spend too much time on that. And then get the modified time okay all right so display the time string so the time string equal to again I will just copy this but make a few changes like this will be the updated one so sorry this will be the published one so I'll remove the class updated so entry date and date time and then we would also have another time inside of this which will be updated time because if the post has been updated I want to have another time for SEO purposes uh, another time uh, another time HTML tag another HTML tag called time for the updated time but we will just use uh, we will just hide it basically but those are just for the SEO purposes in case if the post is updated then it should just pick the content uh, updated content for the Google bots okay so what we're gonna do is we'll again use the time and this time we're going to use class updated and then date time and inside of the date time we're going to say percentage three dollar s and here will be percentage 
four dollar s okay so this will be clear to you in a moment and now the last thing we'll do is we'll just display the time sorry we'll just sprint f the time so we'll say time string equals sprint f and then it's going to take different parameters so first it will take time string comma and then I want to be able to replace the first value with the date so I'll use escape attribute and then get the date so I'll get the current date Uh, I'm going to use get the date so this is going to get the date when the post was actually published so three C Oops. yeah so this is basically the format that we can pass if we check get the date function it asks you for a parameter called format so if you check this is coming from the PHP so this is the format year month date and then the time in this format so that's what we're using okay and then the next parameter will be again get the date but this will be without the format because I just want to get the date in a standard format whatever the get the date returns okay so get the date would return in the standard format alright so I'm just going to use that so this will be replaced by this and then the next parameter so in case if the condition in case if we are using this part this will be taken care of but in case if we are using this time string then we also have to give values for the three dollar percentage three dollar s and percentage four dollar s so for that will actually be the modified one so in case if the post is modified modified then in that case we'll use the escape attribute and then get the modified date and then we'll use the date w3c okay similarly so that will go inside of the date time attribute of the time HTML tag and then in the value it will just go with the standard format so get the modified date okay finally we're going to create a string for posted on we'll use printf okay and inside of this we'll use escape html x okay uh, so what does this do actually this escape html x let's take a look so it translate the string with get text context and escapes it for the safe use in html output okay so it helps in translation and also for the escape purposes and it also has some extra parameter called context okay so I will show you what, what that means so I'm going to do I'm going to pass the parameter as posted on so this is my string on percentage s and then second parameter is post date so this is my context okay so when the context is post date and then aquila so this is my text domain so if you notice it asks you for the text you want to display and then the context and then the domain okay so you can read more about the context uh, from WordPress org again I won't be spending too much time on that and then in the printf the second parameter will be what do you want to pass it like what will this be replaced with this one okay so this will be replaced with an anchor tag and this will be hrf and then inside of this I will do single quotes dot escape URL get permalink I'll get the permalink for the post and then dot again 
and then finally you also have rel bookmarks so for bookmark purposes and then open like this concatenate the time string okay perfect so this is my posted on string already and then finally I'm just going to echo span tag and inside of this span tag I'm going to add a class that will be posted on and text secondary which is our bootstrap class for changing it to color kind of black and then I'll concatenate this with our posted on oops okay so I know it, it may look like overwhelming to you but it is important these are the best practices you have different ways of doing the same thing but these are the best practices and all I have to do now is just call this function inside of my entry meta which is being used in WordPress the post loop and I'm just going to call this function and this is going to echo out the posted on string for us so let's refresh there you go congratulations so now you can see that you've got posted on and you've got two dates because this is the date when the post was published so if you do an inspect element I'm going to show you step by step how this is actually coming in so let's read from here so initially we said that the time will be equal to this uh, get the time is actually the post published time okay so post is modified when post published time is not equal to is not equal to post modified time okay so this is going to get me the post published time so when the post published time and the modified time are different it's going to use this state so in our case like in this case uh, they are different hence it is going to use this value of the time string when it comes over here it's going to use this value It's going to print the time which is what it is doing so you can see it's printing the time it says entry date published and then in date time it's going to use the first parameter so over here we are using this value and the first parameter you get get the date in that format and that's what is printing over here okay next one is percentage two dollar s which will be using the get the date and that's what is being printed over here in the in the default format July 21 2020 then it closes the time tag which it did and then it prints the second time uh, tag which is this one which has a class of updated which is great and then it's going to use the three percentage three dollar s will be this value which will be the modified date in this format that's what is printing over here and then finally it's going to print inside of this percentage four dollar s which is the last option get modified date get the modified date which is this okay now we don't want to display the second one uh, so we'll just use the CSS property to hide it uh, those are just for the uh, bots Google bots for SEO purposes okay so as you can see that so let's just hide it quickly okay I'm gonna go to my style.css okay and over here I'm just going to say update did not publish display none all right and now this will be hidden brilliant so that's been done and in the next video we'll do the author like who posted this post I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye